Hi there and welcome to Marcella's Purse. I am Marcella, of course, and today I have this bucket shape handbag. It's easy to make and I have called her Marilyn. It has a magnet snap and one inside pocket and as you see these beautiful plastic handles that resemble bamboo but of course you can change to whatever handles you want even just plain fabric straps if you prefer so if you hold on and next the materials are coming and how I made it here are our materials I have two pieces, this is the lining fabric, the inside of the bag. I have two pieces, two pieces for the pocket and a piece for the bottom of the fabric. And as you can see here, I have already drawn the pattern shape. So once you print the pattern, you will find the link below to go to my website. Just remember to print it to actual size. So get your piece of fabric, put the pattern on top, quite easily draw it and cut to shape. As you can see here, uh, I have made a fold in the middle or horizontally. And when you put your fabric, sorry, the pattern on top of the fabric, make a mark on the fabric in the part which is the pattern, where the, the middle point is, that fold there and on the other side as well like so you will need that later on when you put the bag together so we will have to cut the shape there and regarding the the main body of the bag with the main fabric I have it already cut to shape here and as you see I use some stabilizer. I use the foam stabilizer. I will be including a link in the comments below to a video where I talk about the different materials that I use for this purpose. And as you can see I cut it smaller, about uh, a quarter of an inch, half a centimeter, which is the seam allowance. So when I put the back together um, when I do the same, the material is not too bulky when I put the back together. So I have the bottom here, two pieces for the body, and I have a piece for the, for the magnet strap. I have here a, a bag with a similar shape that I made a long time ago. And this is what we need it for. There. And... Um, what I did is lengthwise, I folded it in half, then each half towards the middle. But as you see, I also made a fold here on, on one end. So I'm doing a hem there, folding the fabric in half, each half towards the half, like so, like this. And I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to make a mark where the strap, uh, sorry, the magnet should go. If I show you in this bag that I made previously, and you see there, one of the snaps has to be on top here. And um, so I'm going to put. I have, as you see, I haven't sewn this together yet, so I'm going to put one of the magnets with those little legs on top of the fabric. Remembering that I have to uh, sew this strap together later. So I'm going to put it there. Not too close to any of the edges because uh, I need room to sew this piece of fabric together. So I'm finding the middle point so it's all well located. Uh, that's the middle. Uh, I'll make a mark there. I'm finding the legs 
of the magnet I shall mark there and there and I will have to push this through there for that I have to make a little uh, cut I'm using my seam ripper and um, those are my marks for that little leg so with the seam ripper I'm going to go through just the two first layers ignore those two layers of fabric I saw carefully not to hurt myself or, or rip the fabric too much there and I'm going to put the two legs through voila and then one of these rings that the magnet has there and with the back of my scissors which are here I'm just going to push them towards the inside to close them tight one there So now I am going to fold that and I'm going to go to the sewing machine and so here, here and there. This bit will not be seen so it's not necessary. And I have to make the tabs for the, to attach the handles to the bag as well. But I forgot to mention um, the four pieces of fabric that are going to attach the handles to the bag itself, like so. And you see they're not very long, just enough to, to hold this in position. And the width, the final width of this is determined by the gap, the size of the gap here. There and you already have the measurements and uh, what I have done with them is just again I put some interfacing on the back of the fabric folded the fabric in half again and each half towards the middle fold like that and I quite simply just sew on on the each side of the length quite close to the edge you see Super easy. Right. Um, I will. I have included a picture of the sizes of the dimension of my handles. If you find handles which are bigger, uh, you might need to to adapt the dimensions. Measure this this gap here, and also consider the size of your whole bag. But with this tutorial, you already know how to work to achieve the right uh, size right so what I have to do now is to attach after I saw this I will need to attach this to one of the uh, main fabric pieces and if you think of the bag this is let's say the back of the bag the flap will have to go come forward like this right so I'm going to find the middle point of this by folding the fabric I saw like we have done before marking with with a pencil and I'm going to center this and attach it and um, I am also going to attach this uh, tabs with the handles on so I will come back for in a moment okay I have a, attached the flap with the magnet really close to the edge just to keep it in place and I have also sewn the pieces for the handles and what I did is just put them through there and um, sew them again quite close to the edge like so 
so that I can place them, there you are, on top of this, um, one of the pieces of the body of the bag, and I have to center it, decide uh, the distance, the suitable distance, so it's not off-centered. I'm just eyeballing it here, but I'm going to take my measuring tape, making sure that the distance uh, are the same. So We have to make sure that the straps, the, the little tabs, are straight. I'm just going to pin one there, and I will compare the distance here. It's about three and three quarters of an inch, which is nine and a half centimeters in my case. There. I shall pin it in place, and I am going to sew them again, attach them to this piece, quite close to the edge again, and I will do the same with the other handle. I have attached all the handles here, I'm making made sure that they all match, and I'm going to put the right sides together, keeping the handles towards the inside, and we just have to sew this side and that side, leaving the top and the bottom open, just following the seam allowance. Okay, sewn together here, that's the top, and we're going to match now, do, rem do you remember the marks we did in the middle point of the bottom? We're going to match that to the seam there. So we have one, one of the side seams matching that middle point mark I made earlier and we will pin in place and I'm going to the other side that's my mark there and I'm going to make it match that other seam Then I will try to find the middle point here. If I, you, you see this um, stabilizer is quite nice, so I can very easily start giving the shape to the bag. I'm going to pin it there. Oops. I'm going to the other side. And I am going to keep pinning. I, I might need to make a few pleats as I go to the curve here. Just work slowly and make sure that you have distributed the fabric evenly in both directions. You might need to do a couple of pleats, as I said earlier, when you come to the cor corner. Just do it nice and neatly, and take your time, nobody's rushing you. Once you're happy that all your pins are in the right place, just go to the sewing machine and sew the body to the bottom. I will do that now. I am back with my bucket shape thing. I'm going to turn it inside out. And we will see that our bag is taking shape. And um, when sewing around the curve, um, you will find that it is a bit fiddly, but don't despair, do it slowly and turn your bag around, double check that you have seamed everything properly. What we will do now is to put the lining pieces together. I have here the pocket pieces 
and I'm putting right sides together as we have done in other projects and I will start sewing here at the bottom around but remember I will leave a gap here so we can turn the pocket inside out I will also trim the corners and that's the next thing to do I'll be back I have my pocket ready and I have to decide where I am going to put it in the bag. I want I want it to be when you open the bag I want it to be on the back side of the bag. So I will just fold it in half to find the middle point and I'm going to match this middle point with the middle point of the fabric here. This part is ever so easy to do. And I shall pin it in place once I'm happy with the position and I will sew here, here and there closing this gap that we have here. So I shall put that on the side to do and we need to see where we're going to attach the other part of the magnet. this um, little flap will come over like this and it will have to attach there so we need to have a magnet around here but it will have to be attached to the lining the lining of the bag so I folded the fabric and that's my middle point and um, Remember we're using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, so I am considering that from the top. I have to find the distance from the top. And uh, after we do, we put the back together and we lose the seam allowance, we will do a second stitching, which will be again about a quarter of an inch down. So if you see what I'm doing, I turn the back, uh, the fabric to the wrong side and I made a mark at the back so the magnet will come from the front and will come out here and I already decided that this should be a suitable position let me just um, measure it again for you it is one inch down which is about two and a half centimeters that should allow me seam allowance twice but I also want to reinforce the fabric a bit because I don't want the fabric to rip every time uh, after so much opening and closing the bag. So I have here two pieces of the interfacing that I use for the uh, straps earlier. And I'm going to place one there, fuse this one first, and then another one on top. And then I will install the magnet. My pieces of interfacing are fused to the fabric. I have here the two little feet of the magnet. I shall turn this back. I will just put the pin through so I can see where my mark is. Okay. So there's the mark where I want the magnet to go. And I have the two little feet. I'm centering, making a mark for each little leg to go through. And again, I shall do a little rip with my ring, uh, with my seam ripper. And as we did before, we're putting the magnet through the right side of the fabric. and we will secure it with the ring that we have aside there. Right, so I am going to now 
Uh, as I said earlier, <coughs> after I attach the pocket to this side, I'm going to put the two pieces together as we did before. I will sew each side together and we're going to attach it to the bottom of the lining. This time we're all going to start on one side here, go around, but we will leave a gap here so we can turn uh, the fabric inside out. The lining of the back is here ready, <coughs> just trimming the threads. So we're bringing the main body of the bag. I will put it inside the lining. I'm, I'm holding the, the handles towards the inside of the bag as well. And you have to make sure that uh, when doing this, the flap obviously is this flap with the magnet is not in the same side as, as this magnet. I'm just going to move my camera again so you can see better. So that's the flap with the magnet, and this is the other magnet. And all we have to do now is, um, that's the opening in the lining, I will be matching the seams, will match the seams of the lining with the main fabric, and I will sew around, making sure that I sew the straps in position and that flap as well. And after that I will turn the bag inside out. All done and now it's time to turn the bag inside out. Very carefully and gently I'm putting my hand through the gap and I shall pull the bag through the gap. I have to be careful because uh, remember we have those solid handles and I don't want to damage the fabric if I pull it too, too harshly. And I am going to push the lining inside the bag just so that we can check that everything is right give the bag the shape that it needs. I will iron this in place. In the meantime I'm going to pin it because I want to see that the magnet, um, the two parts of the magnets meet as they should. So I'm just pinning this, I'm just pinning this on top here. Pulling the, the lining down. Well aligned. It's looking good. So we bend over this thing. And there it is. So I am going to pin around making sure that the, the lining is nice and tidy. I shall pin it around and then I'm going to do a finishing touch here, another stitching quite close to the edge around. I will also close the gap inside. I will just um, fold the edges towards the inside, I like saw, so, and I will machine stitch uh, closed. You can do it hand stitch if you prefer. So I'll come back to you. I will also I fold the towel, put it inside, and I'm going to iron again the bag. So I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. I finished the top stitching along there, 
uh, we'll do a bit of uh, ironing the magnet is there working in perfect condition I close the gap inside and um, you might find it easier if you when you do this top stitch in there if you start from one side and finish here so that you can turn the bag around and do the other side and that will help you uh, move the handles out of the way as you put it through the sewing machine so here is our Marilyn packet bag ready I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon cheers <laughs>